What is up people, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Aurelia. We will go ahead and start with Q. That is our main mobility spell. Um, it is an ability that is going to reset when you execute something with it. And it also heals you and it also gives you passive stacks. Now you have a stacking passive here and you know when you get this to full stacks then Aurelia is going to get increased attack speed and she also deals bonus damage. So on this champ it's all about getting to those extended fights where you can fight with your passive stacked. And you stack up this passive by damaging with your abilities. Luan, I'm gonna chill for a bit here because I don't have um, my E yet. So you can use your Q to last it. And as I said, it's going to reset whenever you execute something with it. Just make sure the minions are low HP. The E here, so that is the ability that is going to CC the opponent and you can use your Q animation to like make it harder for the opponent to see when you're going to use it. But if you can last it with your Q guys, not all of the minions, if it's risky, don't go for it, but it's going to heal you. So it works as your sustain and also a way for you to tag up the passive. And you can also use the E to last it with, um, if it's too risky for you to uh, walk up. And your Q also procs on hit guys, so that's why you know something like Sheen could be a good purchase. Obviously we have a fully stacked passive right now, so that's why this animation appears. And this passive of course also works with our Q. So not only your auto attacks, but also your Q gains effects from it. I'm gonna use one of the biscuits here, Kha'Zix. I think he might want to uh... Just, oh, he's getting ganked. Did I make a roam happen topside? Might come this way. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit just to um, make sure. Come to me, bro, please. There you go. So that was just a random roam. And your W gives you a lot of damage reduction. And if you charge it, it's going to deal more damage as well. Um, so there are different ways that you can use the W, guys. Oh, hang on a second. Red buff. Doing nothing. That's a what here. I think I'm gonna back off because Kane is also uh, up. Got the flash out. But the different ways you can use the W. Um, so what I did right here is that I used this, used it as anti-damage, you know, to reduce the damage. But for example, um, if you want to clear out the waves fast or you want to s prepare the minions really fast, and with preparing them, I mean that you put them to low HP so you can Q to them repeatedly and stack up your passive really fast and that's also a way of using it because it is AOE damage but the damage reduction on this ability is really insane and it's part of what makes it really good against especially assassins and any other champ that relies on burst damage all right I'm gonna back off here so okay in bot side so I'm gonna get some vision Maybe he's doing the skull crab. Nope, he took it. But it's all about the passive. You want to find a way to quickly stack up your passive and then you engage onto the opponent. And if the opponent is pushed up too far like this, then you can't do anything. So ideally, you want to let them push. Now Syndra is level six. She's gonna queue this, I think, no? Oh, she won't. Alright, need to wait for level 6 too. I just use my W uh, because uh, for the tower. I see if you can abuse this mobility, really not much the opponent can do. So now. 
Got the first point into the ultimate. First of all, it's going to permanently reduce the cooldown of your Q. Now you can see how the pass is. So right now it's 0.5 seconds. And second thing is this AoE ability that is going to deal damage and slow the opponent and give you a free mark. So your E gives you a free mark and your ultimate gives you a free mark. And that basically means that if you dash to somebody who has a mark on them, your Q is going to reset, even if it does not execute it. So either you can reset your Q by executing with it, or you can reset it when you're dashing to a target that has a mark applied. So from your E or your ult. And one thing you can do though is that, for example, if the opponent is here, you can auto attack the minions a bit. For example, you put some of them to low HP, so you can quickly dash to them and get close. So I want to show this way out actually, because it's stacking up. I thought that was going to hit, and it didn't. So I'd like to like, auto attack these here. Oh no, I'm going to die. Oh man, that was so unfortunate. Just a little bit of HP and I would have survived that one. But it's okay, you can see the ultimate. You managed to hit it, it forms like a zone around and slows people. It deals damage and gives you that free um, Q reset when you dash to targets. It makes a great in team fights alongside your E, which is also another AoE ability. We're getting the boots at 9.45, so in just over a minute. A flash out on the cane. You see the way I use my W right here? If I know I'm going to get hit by some ability or such, Then you can use it to reduce a lot of the incoming damage. Took out the first strike. And I want to let her push now, if possible. Because I think uh, I think Kane will be topside, so I'm just gonna ward over here. And in this matchup, you know, you're mainly looking for Syndra C. She just missed it, so... That's usually when you are looking for an engage. Just free damage. Right now we don't need the damage reduction. And when you auto attack enemy champs, you automatically, you know, refresh this passive. Or big monsters. I think even the small ones, I don't remember actually. And when you want to wave clear fast, you just fully channel your W and make it hit all of the minions. But it's especially going to prep you the backline minions, so you can just Q instantly. Like this, and you just push it out instantly almost. I don't think she's going to freeze or just back off. This one is taking up some unnecessary space because this ward is surviving. I was just about to put the control ward here, but I saw Karsex was walking up. And just ran it down. Quite the interesting player. And now suddenly the Syndra has a gold bounty that we can maybe take out later. He survived, I like to see. That's what I like to see. And now you have fully maxed out the Q. It's going to one shot the backline minions like this. So you don't have to prep them anymore. So that's a big spike. Given that you also have the items, of course. Without the items, it's not going to happen. So if you're behind. My team is struggling quite a bit. 
I can make their own bot side unless they're pushing up further. I think they're gonna reset in the brush. Oh no. But um, mist is what's pretty annoying. I want that one at least. Nice attempt though that they both tried it. Okay, so we're not pushing further. But the um, E guys, it's pretty easy to dodge. So you have to find ways to hide the animation. That's what's important. Oh my god, really man? Really, bro? That actually happened? Gonna take this and then we'll head back to lane. No flash on the uh, syndrome. Is she staying? I mean, she got to fix the wave, so... I'm gonna see if I can cancel a recall. Kha'Zix can... Uh... Oh, um, no way, bro. Same thing happening to him. But cancel the recall, so that's good. I'm gonna get the plate now. Oh, she's still staying. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm giving shutdowns out here and there. We're giving away the share, same amount of gold. In shutdowns. And Blade of the Rune King, of course, a huge item. But I could Armor Boots probably the best here, guys. Will soon fall. Doesn't really help me against the Syndra though. But it does help against the rest, and you're also getting that mobility part, so I'm gonna buy it right away. Otherwise, if it was more a balanced team, then I would be getting the Mercs. Especially if they had double APs, like AP mid right now and then AP jungle. Then Mercs would be insane. Like, Mercs are so good against Syndra because it just reduces her um, cooldown. Oh, not, not the cooldown, but like the um, CC duration. We're gonna get the Wit Scent, which is an item that's going to help a lot. And I'll also be showing this game even if I lose. The main purpose is to show how to play the champ at different parts of the game. Alright, see what we can do. Try to hide the animation of the E. Ooh, she messed up the E. I'm just staying up here so the cannon minion can take out these. Without her being able to farm it. So just zoning her way, pretty much. Have the ignite up soon. Oh no, the Q did not reset. Because the minion died before I could uh, do anything. Oh, bro, K6. Bro, K6. Okay. Okay, getting some nice healing. And all that good stuff. Nice. Yeah, I had a feeling she was going to do that. I'm just gonna zone her way so Kha'Zix can take the uh, Drake. Hopefully he will go for it. I really hope he's not. Okay, her E is down. She also does not have the flash up, but I don't think she'll reset. Or maybe if she has TP, she can. He probably stays when I'm pushing like this. We can get another component. Get this one. 
So as I said, like these items are so good on Aurelia, mainly because he's auto attack reliant. He has on hit, you know, um, with a Q proccing the on hit. And I don't know why it doesn't say. It only says when you press shift, then you can see it says disability applies on hit. But it's actually really important, so it should show immediately. But with the on hit proccing on the Q, and also her being auto attack reliant, you really benefit a lot from items like the Bladed Rune King and the Witsend. Okay, bot lane going ham. I liked what I'm seeing. Just gotta let her push out. Gonna get a ward up here for the cane. Once again, the key thing here is that you try to hide the animation of your E. Either you hide it while dashing around, or you can also use your W. Nice. He is wasting her. Alright, well got her out. That's being a bit annoying, so now we can take the tower and you see that slow you're getting with that ultimate. It is so hard for immobile champions to escape. So what you can do is that you hit people with that E, then you Q to them, and then you use that ultimate to get another free proc. Kane did not want to do that. Wait, it looked like Kane was up here. Maybe it's just a visual bug. Oh no. I'm gonna get ulted, I assume. Yeah, I will see if I can defend the tower. I'll try, bro. I shall try. Bro, why are you not taking... Just protecting his tower. So it doesn't get a herald. Okay, the build is coming out here and there. And our jungler just on a inting spree. No one knows what he's trying to do. I'm just gonna make my way bot side. They're kiting pretty well, so that's a good thing. Hopefully she's not going to try to reset there. Okay, we'll, we'll just give it up. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I guess. Okay, we'll give it up. Did not get the king? Yeah, no. That's not a fight we want to be taking, is it? Yeah. Bro, I am so confused this fight. Bro, don't CC me. Please don't have flash up. Okay, I'm out. Need to make sure I'm staying out of range of the Kate ults. Let's see that ultimate. You hit multiple people, man. They are not escaping. Like them escaping? Only if they're like super insanely high mobility champs, but something like a Syndra or a Caitlyn or a Senna. There's no way they're getting out. They don't have anything. They get hit by the slow, even if they flash away, it's not going to do nothing. Gonna check the uh, around just in case. We have Mordekaiser who can take out any of them in a fight, which is a good thing. 
And I want to be in the side lane here, but my bot lane is pushing, so I can't. I just have to push this up. Oh, they're dead. Oh, goodbye bot lane. And next up, the Adam is going to be the Goldringer, giving you some tankiness and also some extra damage. Just like a great item for Brusas. Oh my god, bro. That's a 1k bounty. 1k gold. Gone like that. Oh, he has the Herald. No Blast Cone. Can I Q over? I feel like I'm still taking too much damage from the Syndra despite having MR. I was thinking about just engaging, but you know, if I died, they would just take out the tower. Mordecai's are doing his thing. I'll just be pushing the side lane now. Bro, I feel like this Kha'Zix is just trolling. A trap and we can also use some anti-healing but you know you want the gold ringer as your third item because it's a solid item on Aurelia but she doesn't have anything that's like good on her. Related to Rune King and Witch Send is way better. But what what are you doing bro? What is this guy doing? That's like griefing no? I don't think we can contest, sadly. Because he just ran it down. We also don't have any vision, so Mordekaiser cannot TP. Their weapons are great, but that Lethality Kaelin? Yeah, it is. Oh my god, you had Sonya's bro? Come on, man. Oh my god. I have no words. I have no words. I have no words, bro. But oh, we got the God Ringer, so a little bit of tankiness here. Getting a bunch of mixed stats. And you also have the active here, which can also help you in a fight, but also to just put the minions low HP. You don't need it for the backline, but it's more for like the frontline minions. Good thing he has anti-healing. But I think Bramble West would be much better, bro. I don't think it actually is much better. Need to get my back. Uh, six. An enemy is bro, we gotta do the Drake. I think his first time jungle. There's not much we can um, do because it's a roll. It's like super high impact roll, and when the jungle is like refusing to do what he should be doing, yeah, of course it's going to be a lot harder. Bro, come, take it, take it, bro. Now Kane is also coming, so it's going to be a team fight, I assume. Let's see what we can do. If Misfortune gets a good ultimate in, I can single-handedly win us the fight. Okay, okay, I ran it down. My bad. My bad. Keep forgetting that she's as fat as me. Because she's just picking up a bunch of kills around the map. He has the Sonya still. Okay, okay, that's good. She's going to die, but she's getting a shot down. Okay, maybe another kill. Ooh, nice kiting. Sadly, not enough. Not enough. I ran it down, man. I, we, I think we could have won the fight if I did not.
that is going to be a pretty difficult game. And next item, I'll be getting the Dust Hand, so that helps against, you know, the mixed damage. Against all of them. Since none of them had true damage. Might place a trap here. Just gonna have to push this out because we don't have a tower and we don't want somebody in our split pushing and then threatening our tower while I'm walking up here trying to defend the Baron. But they're probably gonna send a bunch of players, but I can imagine. We have Milio doing pretty good and our AD carry too. Mordekaz is behind, but what can he do against Kane camming him? He can always ult somebody though. That wait, I could wait up here. Good job, Mordekaiser, bro. That's a lot here. Oh man. Oh man, that was a nice play, but K Nolts. Alt, alt, alt. Nice. Oh man, she got wiped out. Jesus, man, she got wiped out. I'm actually not quite too sure how Emilio works, if I have to be honest. Let's try. Oh, they don't want to. Alright. So, they definitely need some MR. Like, Sunra is just shredding everyone. I'm getting the distance, which helps against her. And everyone else on that team for that matter. I don't want her to see this slaughter. I need to be a bit more tanky because they have pretty heavy damaged damage focused comp. And Sundra has more kills, but I still have, you know, a massive CS lead, so that's also giving me a lot of gold. Mordekaz is going bot lane. I don't have tenacity, which is a pretty big problem. Oh, the Drake is spawning soon. I want to keep this pushed out. They didn't kill us all. But when you get level 16, when you get that last point into ultimate, it's two and a half second that gets permanently taken out from your Q. So even if you mess up your Q and it does not reset, Milio. I have to slow him. Okay. I hope I saved him. I did tank it, right? Oh, my Q, man. Unlucky. I think I also got exhausted at the end. Wow. I have to take it. It's three versus two. Three versus two guys, don't tank the W. Oh my god, they did. They did tank it. Alien ultimate should be up soon. And they tank another W. Jesus guys. That is beyond terrible man. Two people just standing in a line. Mordekaiser is gonna get kited. Okay, he got one. And he does have anti-healing. Please kill him. Nice. Oh, sad. He almost has the ultimate up, man. Okay, okay, okay. Is he going to win? I think he is, right? Nice. Good job, Broski. 
He's toast home. That's a TP coming out from the Syndra, and she also flashed out. Man, if I did not use that flash to save the uh, misfortune. I actually think I could have won us the fight. They might be doing it. They might actually be doing it. Out there indeed. Touch. That's what it is though. thing. Video doing a great. Helping me with the um, I think he gives some sort of like tenacity. And the healing is also pretty nice. Okay, you can take this. I can die for. If I hit like a, a knee or something. But we are not getting any objectives this way because they have insane way clear. And seems like we don't have enough damage to uh Oh my days. Take this out. He's halting him. Okay, good job guys. Let's watch out for the Syndra stun. Double CC. Ooh, nice! Hitting both of them with the ult and then the E afterwards and Misfortune finishing up with a clean ult. Beautiful. Stop him from cleaning out, cleaning out the way, please. For some reason, he's... Insanely tanky. Like, he's too tanky. That part here is that they could actually go for the Baron. They see us recalling. I'm setting on so much gold. Next item, I'm gonna get the Guardian Angel here, so I can be a bit more of a frontline. So it's actually one of those late game matches with Aurelia. I'm gonna take the blue. They're not doing the Baron, which is a good sign. You know, your job in team fights, you try to reach people uh, with your E and your ults. Because if you can get to the backline, you're sort of like an assassin. Just jump around and AD carries cannot deal with you. Rikasa. They still do not have QSS. So his ultimate still doing, you know, a ton in fights. He can take out one player and they suddenly lose an important member on that team. And rest on. Ow. Ow, bro. How do I get hit? But I'll be honest, that team is pretty disgusting to play against. Wait, he's tipping top? What? Okay, that was a good one. Okay, that was pretty good. Are they giving up this to... Uh... He should be able to take out... Oh no, both of them are gonna die. It's totality misfortune, so she has no consistent damage. It's more like poke and burst. I think um, pretty unlucky. We we're basically playing without a jungler. The other players were pretty decent, but it happens. It is how it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And yeah, it's the special player doing his thing again. Ooh, okay. We bought ourselves a little bit more time. I don't know what that TP was. I guess he's like used to play with Ignite. 
I think that's it. <laughs> the chance Tried to ignite the car six, but she ended up TPing. And she is toast. But now they're just gonna start that backdooring mission. I will be showing more games though, so don't worry. And I'm still going to show them no matter if I'm losing or winning. If we can find the Caitlyn. We are the children of the first land, and we will not be slaves. Pop this one. So we can see all of them. Tundra does not have TP. He has to ult the... Um, he can ult the Caitlyn. Seems like he did not use it. Got you. Got you. Bait it. I made it look like I did not see her and just walking past. So she went in a little bit and that's when I... Out. Oh my god, even through my W, bro. She is way too fat. <laughs> I got blasted through the W as well. You see, it's not as effective against magic damage as it is against physical. But still, that was through my distance, with sand and my W. A one shot. But, GG's for the first game. Let's head towards the next one. Welcome to game 2 and this time around it's actually great to get the Mercury Treads because now you're playing against AP mid, AP jungle and I don't know what this is. I think it's the L star top but actually I have no clue what's going on. But they have a lot of magic damage and they have a lot of CC. I have tenacity in the runes here. It's pretty rare that I'm using, using it on Aurelia but when they have so much CC, tenacity here and then the Mercury Treads and with scent. And then I might also get the force of nature depending on how the game is going. But we'll be getting a lot of magic resistance. So it's a TP mid lane with electrocute. Going for these. Short. Good study. But she's not uh I can take out a flash. Nice. Usually start in Q, but this was to take out a flash, and that's worth it. What's been lost. Fight for what that's fine. And E star the one is actually not troll either, because you can use it to get the three low HP minions at the front. That you know, walking in melee range and then risk getting poked. So it's also fine to start with your uh, E low one. You just don't have the mobility, so that's something you have to keep in mind. And I can also look for place at level 2 since her flash is down. Just staying back and then we're gonna... Ooh, that's a good one. If you can last it and you can poke at the same time, that's really OP. I guess you forgot I started with the AI. Right, same thing here. You can use the first part of your E first and then you dash to like hide the animation and making it harder to dodge. And that's a really good trade as you can see right here. And then just backing off because it's still early on in the game, we can't afford to tank a lot of minions. Oh, I want to, um, I was hoping that minion would survive for a bit longer. That's a flash here. I don't want to lose too much HP. If I had the W, I would not have to flash, but since I do not, we have no choice. 
If I can get plus here, she's dead. Yeah. So she did not have the flash because we took it level 1. And she also used the only mobility spell. So just 1 E and you just go all in. And she's out. We have to push in one more, but she has TP. I assume. Yeah, she does. I'm gonna use the biscuit. Obviously, the Elise. I'm testing the Master I assume. Is he not winning? He flashed. Oh my days, bro. Why? Bro, that's a massive error. I decided to... And he's... <laughs> this master is something else, bro. Using the biscuit here to CC. Alright. Man, this master has been like uh, on an insane baiting mission. See, I decided to E her down here instead of queuing because that could save our jungler. That's why I did it. You could go for the woods end first. It's completely fine to do, but as you can see, I'm getting a bunch of kills. I'd rather get the Blade of the Rune King because it's best used as a first item. But we'll definitely get the mercs and we'll get the wits end. And another MR item, depending on how the game is going. Same thing. You see how I engaged this time around? I used the W, I ch charged it, but I did not only aim at the Lissandra, I also aimed at the wave because that would put them low HP so I can keep dashing around and chase her. That's another really important thing that you have to know about this champ. Not looking very good bot side, but maybe Master Yi can uh, clean up or something. And channel the W. This is what I did to the wave. While I was fighting the Lissandra, it allowed me to have more minions that I could use to get close with. Oh, she did not get the stun offset. Set. I think this is not going to work out. Unlucky. I'm not going to buy another control ward since I already have one. We're just going out now, I assume. Buy gold. The wave clear is really good now. Amazing wave clear. I think she can't really gank the Mordekaiser because he has salt top and Thresh is low HP. I don't know why there's a Thresh top side. I'm gonna auto attack the backline minions a bit. Once again, it is to prep them so I can use it for a fast engage. Like this, you see? Free trait. Oh, I was hoping she would ult me. But getting those short trades in, completely fine against mages because they are so squishy. Even though Aurelia shines in extended trades, thanks to her um, passive. Then you going to... Um, she does have the ultimate up, so I hope she does not get baited. But she's not ulting. Oh, what? No way, how, bro? Why was I tanking the, uh... Why did the tower aim at me? What happened? Oh my god, bro. I was... What I was trying to do is that I walk close to her. To make her waste the ult. But why did the uh, tower... Did the minions die? I had to look at the replay. I'm actually not too sure what happened. Okay, go Musty.
And a Drake too, okay, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna dash without getting the cooldown reduction because that's a free flash. It's also really OP because you can... Extend the range of your E with your Q, right? With your Q and your flash and blast cones and such. So you can get a really long range E if you need it. I don't think it's worth ganging topside like Mordecai is going to auto win because of the matchup. So just be focusing mid and then also helping out bot once in a while if it's needed. Even if they kill me, they'll still have to fight the land. It's a bit awkward playing her early on because you had tenacity in the runes instead of attack speed. Okay, Morikasa. Masti incoming, but Elise is also coming in. Just want to make sure Lissandra cannot roam. Why is pushing towards me? She does have the ultimate up still, but she does not have ignite. The short trades are great because she has minimum sustain. She only has the red pots. And we have a Masti, which is a champ that you should usually ban. Because he's too OP in low elos. Alright, let's back off. We have enough gold for the player to run king. I think I'll stay for this one because it's a normal wave and she can push it out really fast. Okay, now I'll reset. Not gonna reset here because she'll just cancel it out with her E. But I guess it's pretty much over when Masti gets fed. Where's my any mid? Don't understand. But she has not been trolling, she only has two CS. But the spike is awesome. Pull points into a Q and the Blade of the King. You know, if you are not able to fight previously, now is the chance to do so. That ignite you have slain an enemy. doing the job, but if you use your E out of vision, they will not see it coming. Want to use the second part of it? That's why I I try to hide it over here. I'm gonna keep the minions alive so I can keep refreshing the passive. So it's about to expire. Queuing to the minion. Same thing with this one. You bit it. Unlucky. I was thinking I could fast reset my Q and then get both of them. But I have successfully trolled. He's gonna get Cocoon too, huh? Well, I guess that is not happening. Watch out, bro. Yeah. He is surviving.
I just ping Musty topside in case um, he needs help. He doesn't. I don't know what this is, man. Why, why are you playing this top? Like, why? The same thing, you know, you can use your Q to like dash around and dodge that one CC ability they have. And then uh, re engage. But you see the damage we're getting, you know, it's ridiculous. Now we just push it out. She has the Sonyas that I'll remember. Gonna let it take out some of the minions. She has the Herald. I need to stay mid. Let's try to uh, defend bot. Oh my god, how did I miss my uh, E? That was so bad. That was terrible. Let's give them some vision and I'll hit back to mid, push it out. Using the W to take out. Oh no, how bro? Oh the lantern, I see. Oh so many flashes man. Jesus. So many flashes. Ah, uh, that ults. Isn't that a bit too late? As he had this one, I had a feeling. All right, we got it out. Oh, Ripperonis. Ripperonis, my bro. Oh, the flash coming in hot. Can I get the blue? Ah, she's getting it. Alrighty, we shall push mid. Sitting on so much gold, but still not enough for the wit sand. So, you know, I might as well just stay until I can afford it. Since I have no one who can fight me one versus one. Stuff, Herald is about to expire. Just forcing Lissandra to stay. But a well timed W. Really does completely shut down attempts from the opponents. Or it can. It won't always. As you saw the last game. Like the Sundar just bursted through my W. My distance and yeah, everything else, basically. If I can get the fruits here, then I can take out the vein. Otherwise I don't have mana for it. Let's go fruits. Lots of minions to dash around, but she's gonna eat me back. Now walking close to the uh, balls, so I don't get uh, stunned into them. And now I can afford the wizard. I think I'll push out one more and then maybe see if we can get this tower. And then we'll reset and get this item. Ah, uh, unlucky. I mean, fast recall, fast wood scent. Ooh, he's going in. He has Sonya's. Oh, she bit it. She bit it. I pinged it too late. Problem is that if I ping it early on, it, it makes it look like that she already used it, and then, yeah, that's not going to help, obviously. Oh, that's a nice one. She's so dead. She has no ult. 
He's not surviving that. Yeah, no chance. She ain't surviving that. Uh, I'll go bot side. We have our AD carry going mid. No point both of us going mid and we're going to share too much. Father, and just fall behind that way. So let's go bot side and then pressure people into come and defend. We're having a lot of tenacity which helps out a lot. Just in case he had ult or something. I don't have CC for it. I don't think I can uh, 1 versus 3. Probably can if I play it perfectly, but not happening. We'll push our bot side. The Sander could E over. But it doesn't matter now when the tower is too low HP. Alright. Let's take out the monsters. Yeah, it only refreshes on the uh, bigger monsters. The Q. Oh, not the Q, but the passive. So not the small ones. She has Sonya still, right? Oh man, they ignite. Getting ignited as well. Alright, they're doing the Baron, so it's fine. There's no way he's chasing. Maybe if he tries to CC it and he dies. Nah, not happening. But Baron secured. They took a pretty bad fight. This one is pretty much done. It's over. It is over. Oh, we need to get the lens. No point sitting on the warding totems at this point in the game. I could wait for it, but man, it's not that important. Since we are this fed anyways. It'll be something else if it's like a really needle spike. But it isn't. Uh, the main issue you're probably going to get when you're playing Aurelia mid. You can play her top, but when you're playing her mid, a lot of the times, or... Some of the times, you might end up getting full AD teams, and that's terrible. Then they pick something like a Malphite or another tank top, and you just get outskilled really hard. She does have the Kraken Slayer. We need the minions to get buffed up. That's a nice attempt at a hook. Getting the ultimates out. I'm not ulting yet, because I can't engage when I ult. Not really worth it. But I guess they have to, if they want to win, they have to do it through um, RC Sing. Now we can. Because that's a pretty good uh, opportunity to ult. Because they were just stacked up. Oh, any... 
Any, what are we doing, Broski? Enemy triple kill. Enemy triple kill. That's a pretty fat vein. Right, I think I'll clear out top side if the camps are still up and we can back off and get the uh, God Ringer and then probably a. We could get a distance. But MR. Be pretty nice as well. But it's pretty hard sieging against them. The main reason being is that we don't have way clear. We don't have good range damage because our AD carry is also um, melee. The only range we have is the Annie, which is a support, so does nothing. When it comes to way clearing, I mean. We have to hope they want to participate in the ARAMs and then we take them out that way or we do the split pushing. That's the only way. Oh no guys, oh no. They did not get the vein. They did not get the vein. We have a Masty though. I can't push any further. I'll back off and get the items we need. I probably need to get a Guardian Angel. So I can frontline a bit more with the Mordekaiser and then still survive because of the passive. And does stance, you know, the armor, the main AD, the heaviest of vein, and that's true damage. Doesn't do much. So probably better with the Guardian Angel. Give them an inch, they'll take a kingdom. Oh Masti, is he going for it? <laughs> Jesus Christ man, did I just get ulted by three people? Those are two ults. That's a lot, man. That's a lot they use for me. Okay, this uh, AD carry is not watching the map. Okay, nice. Shut down. But that AD carry was not watching the map. I don't know about ulting the Alistar. Like, he had nothing up. But it will probably mean that we're getting the uh, last Drake. I should survive for pretty long considering that I was alone against like 3 or 4 people. And then you see the Gord Ring also healed for a ton. Ooh, the MR. And he is so tanky. Okay, Lissandra all this down. Just uh, leave it and then we secure the vision around the drake. This is the soul after all. We can do this and then some of us will um, zone out the uh, Elise. Nice. Secured and also level 16, so that's going to be the permanent two and a half second reduction on the Q. And it makes it really easier to play from the mid to late game because you don't get punished as hard if you don't reset your Q. Let us go for the Baron. Oh no, that's not what we want to do. Okay, nice. So we basically just had to wait for us to take the Baron and then we can push in two lanes at once and it will be done for them. 
But uh, we went a bit too early on top side. We had to wait for Mordekaiser and then we tried to do the same thing again. Just unfortunate he does not have the Baron buff. Oh wow. Wow. He really wants the AD carry. He really wants the AD carry. I had to push this fast before they get collapsed on top side. Mordekaiser has no TP. So I don't think we're getting much here. I'm not dashing. I'm not getting chipated like that. Just massive chain CC and QSS, honestly. It makes you so squishy, so that's why I don't like to build, build it. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. What's happening? What is happening? It's actually insane comp they have because of the um, peel they have on the vein. They're not doing much by themselves, but with the vein. Oh, she's not there. Oh no. Oh, she is. Let's see if I can force them to reset. Okay. How did that hit? Come on minions. Why do I have to keep pinging for them to move? Like what? what where's Annie going? Like... <laughs> Just straight up ignoring. But it's fine if they're getting the inhibitor. Alright. Any has to hit her with a chain CC. It has to be any has to like CC her once, then. Nice, there we go. Alright. Now we can go ahead and end. So it's like one play at the bot side, opening up the map for us. So, GG's. It was getting close for no reason, but it is what it is. Victory. Welcome to game 3, the last game. And I swapped out the Tenacity rune for the attack speed once again. They do have a lot of CC, but it's not a game where you need that's an acid instead of this one. Mercury Treads will do the job. The of the first land. And it is 6, so we don't get to play against AD, unfortunately. That's also fine. Um, Woodsend is great here, as usual. AP mid and AP jungle, and this could also be full AP Nuno. I hope it is, it's a lot more fun to play against. But it's definitely a game where you can go for Holdbreaker. It's not something you get normally on Aurelia, unless you are really forced to split push. And it's great against tanks. And mages. Alright, let's go for it. Another immobile mage. You know the deal, same thing as usual. You take out their main mobility spell on 6 is going to be his W. Take that out. And then you're looking for engage, and if you can, you know, try to let them push a bit early on. So around level 2, level 3, then you can try go for engages. It's also great to let them push when you play against the Nuno, because he can gank pretty early.
Need to block it a little bit here so it does not crash under the tower. That would be terrible. That's fine. I don't have level 2 yet, unfortunately, after this one. Yeah. And that's basically it, you know? I'm just letting him push. And I also went in a bit early on, he did not expect that level 2, even though he should. If he count the minions. But that's what I mean, if you let them push early on. Especially if you play in lower elos, because they will be doing that when they're playing ranged into a uh, melee. I'll use this chance to reset, hopefully it's not going to cancel it out. Okay, good thing the cannon went under the tower. Attack speed, lifesteal, I think I'll just get the lifesteal. This way we also get to use the most amount of gold. I think Akali will have a pretty hard time top, no? Not quite sure how the matchup goes for Poppy against champs with dashes, it's not fun. Wait, why is he pinging? Wait, what? Goals. Soloing the red, okay. I guess he wanted us to see um Okay, that goes his mobility spell. I have four seconds on the queue. Gonna pull it a bit to the side. I don't know why that what that minion is doing. Okay, another kill. Oh my days, he's gonna flash me. Maybe he doesn't need to. Yeah, he doesn't. Come on, Q. Oh no, the minion, bro. Bro, minion, get over here. Okay, I'm out. Jesus, man. Bro, that minion trolled me so hard. Like, what? I got trolled so hard, man. That's not happening, buddy. Even the fish is here. Time to find my own. I could stay and block it. But it doesn't crash. Did he just smite? An enemy has been slain. You know, it's a good thing that Seraph is getting kills. Because we have a lot of physical damage and I don't think Akali can do much against the puppy. Akali just falls off. Tarath on the other hand is good like game. Once again, gonna hit the backline minus a little bit. Gonna prep them. Meal prepping the backline minions. Taking out the W. It's out. I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna place a ward here so I can see how far back he's staying. Oh, good thing he missed the cannon. Ultimate ready to go. Let's meal prep the backline minions again. Oh, I missed. Good job, bot lane. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, hey, control ward. That's also good. The fish taking out the shutdown. If he lasts this with a Q, guys, he's going to push the wave. I can actually just let him push. And I can probably 1 versus 2. Yeah, I can. No worries. 
I've never killed a person. Just a lot of oh, if that one hit, man. If that one hit. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Ripot. Maybe I'll push so he can't do the uh, Drake? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that looked like Vaynold. Just gonna take the fruits. I could wait like five seconds to what? I think I'll do that. So he can't sneak it. He could take the blast cono and then sneak. So I'm gonna place the water a little bit closer so I can see him on the side. Just pinging that his ultimate is up. Kyle is somehow getting a kill. Not sure how that works. Oh no, six is gonna come that way, no? Okay, nice one. I can block six here, or no? And if this is water, it's so unlucky. Yeah, this is super water, bro. He's still not walking up. Just not. Oh, my days, puppy, really? Okay, we find this way. I did not uh, dash because of the uh, anti dash thing he has, or she has. Oh man, that almost hit. Yeah. Are we getting the Drake for the Yorick on an AFK farming mission? Hopefully that does not get stolen away. Okay, no no dead, so that's not happening. I hope. You know, I don't mind if the jungler does not gank, as long as they're getting the objectives for us. That's fine. Flash and CP down. And this is when I'm getting the big spike with the Blade of the Rune King. And tier 1 boots from the runes. He's not escaping. Oh, good thing they survived. Can I help? Oh, okay. She even had the flash up. See you, broski. No, no, my come. Oh, my days. Oh, my god. Oh, it's not happening. Please don't have flash up. Right, let's get out. When I back off over here, maybe the Nuno tries to sneak or the Nami just walking out of vision. Don't want to risk a 700 gold shot down on that. Uh, bro? Bro? Giving up uh, some plates? For a chicken? He's farming pretty well. Yorick. Like to have the plate. Hopefully Nuno doesn't come. 
Get it swapped. Actually swapped. I don't have blade though, so I can fight the poppy, but later on, yes, it's definitely going to be hard. That's like 50 gold I'm getting for free. Yeah. Unstoppable. An enemy has been slain. I just waited with a dash. Once let's use that shield thingy she has. And then also, you know, during a fight, even though if your passive is fully stacked or whatever, still use the minions because they do heal you. And if it is not stacked, then you can use the minions to get it stacked fast. Really OP to um, take advantage of the uh, minions. I think I'll back off here, getting the tier 2s. Not gonna waste time taking out this control ward. Ooh, nice one. That's a good purchase. Alright, the Herald coming in bot side. Ooh, nice one. Sarath almost has his ultimate up, so if he hits one more Q, then he can um, nullify the uh, Nami healing with the ults. Yeah. Get out of here, bro. Doing that swapping game. And we shall keep pushing. And then Yori can take the Drake. Oh, that is full AP Nuno, I guess. Interesting. All things to save the tower, but that is not enough. Oh, wow. Wow. If she ults, it's a mirror. But this is what it is not. She's not even walking up. Maybe there was a ward around here. He's farming, okay. It is what it is. Ooh. Probably toast if Nuna comes. Good try. Okay, that was Soto. <laughs> Whoops. That was grief. That was grief. Uh, no ultimate on Nunu. How much damage was that? Okay. Wait, what? Oh, waiting for the Samira. Ooh, so fast. Ooh, okay, nice. Nice, nice. Yorick is just AFK farming the game. I do have tenacity, so the Ash Alt won't be that devastating. Hasn't 
just had to make him cancel it out. He could be a, oh there he is. Can we uh, block him out? Running over here. Okay, he's dead. Oh my days, Poppy so dead too. Why, Poppy? Why? Yeah, there's that. <laughs> oh, that's for it. Can okay, flash out. Flash out, I'll just go bot then. I will head towards the bottom side of the map, but I have to wait for it to push out. Probably better just reset then. Ah, uh, we will greet. It's not fun to play safe all the time, it's a boring playstyle. Just keeping the minions alive, you know, not taking them out immediately, so we can keep the passive going. It's... I don't know if it's only me, but like, it's difficult hitting the uh, minions with a Q. Not the minions, but the small golems. Just have to make sure he's not trying to do it. So I'm gonna wait for the ward to come up. Alright. And we will head back. Oh, he flashed? Okay. See ya. They thought they could tame our land. I'm sitting on so much gold and Holebreaker could be pretty fun here. Because six can just insta clear out the waves after that. I assume he's bot. Maybe he's going mid now. Ooh, that's looking good. Oh no, I failed. I actually failed the combo. I did not get the reset on the Q, so that's why I died. You know, it's a fun game, so let's try the whole breaker, shall we? Maybe it's a bad idea to skip out on. Yeah, we can try out the whole breakup, but we'll do it after we have enough gold for An ally has been slain. the mythic item. Let's go for... should we try this one? Let's go for this one. Just for this game, since we went for gold ring at the last two. But this is good against tanks. It's like a tanks, tanks reading a mythic item, giving you that armor and magic pen that you benefit from because you have both damage sources in your kit. Not sure about that one. Maybe I can bait here? No mind. Oh, TP coming in. I think they're running towards me though. Oh no! No way bro! That actually hit. That actually hit. Like what? 
Yeah, it's hull break after this. Oh my days, he's he's a glass cannon. Okay, Samira has to one versus five. I think it's the going down though. <laughs> we are not stopping that attempt. Maybe uh anti healing? Oh no? Don't do it, don't do it. If I get hold or oh, I get Divine Sundra, then I get Hold Breaker. And then just AFK split push. Hopefully my team don't start grouping around me. Like that's the most annoying part about that item. Wave is fixed. And the whole world will move. Just taking these out. He has to wait out for the Baron. Um, because without comp, it will get pretty hot. When they get to scale up, like it will get really hot. We have short range comp, they have 6. They have Ash, they have great kiting, and they have 2 frontline. We have nothing. It's actually not good for us if they get to scale up. It's pretty bad. Like, it's really, really bad. So stuff like that is what cannot happen. Oh no, is he getting healed? But oh, I got him. <laughs> nice emote, bro. Nice emote. I thought for a second he was headed towards Tsunami to heal up. Yeah, we had to split push, it's the only way. But we cannot group against that, because our comp is so bad. One middle tower for one. But if Akali dies... Really bad. Okay, they still got one of the ranged ones. That's something. No, man, did I not dodge it? I did not dodge? Yeah, I'm getting collapsed on. Can I reset here? Alright, I'm out. I survived. We are the children of the first land. Tower almost down. Break coming up, so I think I just go both sides so I can fight for it, but man, we are a paper comp. He doesn't have any tank items yet. And what he has, I can't comment? No conqueror? Father, mother, zealous. Oh man, if I can take him out, that would be so good. That would be so insane. Oh, he's coming this way, is he not? Nice. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. And he didn't even use his Sonyas. It wouldn't help anyways. But could buy him a little bit of time. Jesus, man. What is that CC, bro? Nice. Oh, thank God, man. Honestly, I would have started crying if they lost this. I got Omega CC'd and then also the Akali. 
Oh, oh my god, why does everybody make this mistake? Why does everybody in this hero make this mistake? He ran into the wall, so he just gave Poppy a free um, ring gauge. I don't know why it's like... Yeah, I don't know. Feels like everybody make this mistake, but we have the hold breaker, so we're gonna go on a split pushing adventure. Because that is not a team we want to group against. If we had a front line, that would be possible, but we don't. We have a Yorick up in CS for two levels down on the Nuno. He, he would just get altered, right? Yeah. Let's see. His full armor puppy. That's the uh, non fun part. I think I had to say my E for his ults. No, no ults. Otherwise, I'm not taking him out. Unfortunately. They're going towards the uh... They could actually be headed towards me as well. And I think they are, so I'm gonna stay back. This is how I uh, to uh, pressure. It's only Nami. Like, I can take out the Nami, no worries. But I'm keeping two people bot side, and if they still lose the Baron, it's <laughs> it's just uh, it's unfortunate, man. It's really unfortunate. Okay, Ash is out. Ash is still here. Okay, this one is. Oh my days! Oh my days, two ultimates out. Well, not two ultimates, but Nami ults. You just keep doing the same thing. If it was not Poppy right here, I would have, I would have went for the dive. But it helped out, it worked. It worked perfectly, and we got the Baron. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Ash ult coming in or what? Press the Ash ult. Not coming. Oh, that's perfect. We got what we wanted to. Did I go for the Guardian Angel? Yeah. I have the option of going distance. So I'll do like this. I get the Garden Angel and once it get brocked then I can sell it and get the distance. But this is like um, a good example of when spear pushing is great. It's when your team fighting just sucks. And that team fighting is really OP. They cannot group. Yorick split pushing bot side. Nice. They grouped. They grouped. We tag both with the alts and bam. They are toast minions. And I can get the fish. We should be able to end. Oh rip. Okay. We did not go for the base. Alright, we're still able to end.
Awesome. GG's. So that was how to play Aurelia guys, really hope this was helpful, thanks for watching and see you all next time.